We know how to basically use a reference counter now. Uh, so let's uh, let's look at some of the functions so we can uh, understand it a little bit more. Uh, this should be the last of three videos to uh, introduce uh, reference counters. Uh, let's just um, take a look at the uh, at the count. So we have uh, you know one uh, here's a reference counter here, and then we cloned it, so it should uh, give us a count of uh, two. But uh, let's see, Calgary, let's say city history. So that is a ref cell, uh, and we want to see the count. But the, uh, the name of the function is actually strong count, and we'll see why in a second. It's not too important in the beginning, but later on, uh, it's good to know why it's called strong instead of just count. And this should, uh, this should print uh, two. So there you go, it's, uh, it's telling us uh, how many there are so strong count right there so it's it's pretty simple it gets the number of strong pointers to this allocation uh, and we can uh, we can show that it's working by uh, dropping uh, let's drop Canada cities and then uh, this should give us a one because this is now gone and uh, reference counter is uh, you know it's very diligent and uh, it'll tell us that hey there's only one owner left and the reason why um, why it's a strong count is um, is because with a with a uh, reference um, counter you can potentially have uh, one item that points to one and then another one that points to another at the same time. And uh, if they do that, then um, they're never they're never going to stop uh, because you you know you have to wait for this one. You have to wait for it to be zero for it to. Uh, for it to drop, but because they're they're looking looking at each other, they're they're referencing each other. There's no way you can do that, and so there's um, and that's that's for you know really interesting uh, interesting structs. Uh, you probably won't you know encounter this for a while if ever. It depends on what you like to uh, do, but you know sometimes people like to make you know linked lists in Rust or something similar. And here in the in the Rust book, they have an example of this uh, of this list that has a ref cell that points to another ref cell, and if you do that, uh, potentially you can uh, you can point to each other, and so that is why you have uh, you have uh, strong and weak. So you can uh, you have this uh, this other thing called uh, downgrade, and uh, instead of a uh, a clone, you can you can use this thing called downgrade. And it makes a new weak pointer. And if you have a weak pointer, it'll still be a pointer. It'll still keep track. But if you have, say, just two like weak pointers, then uh, it's going to let it drop because weak pointers by themselves can't keep it alive. But um, but they'll still still keep track. So the strong the strong uh, pointers are the ones that keep it alive. Whereas uh, weak pointers are there if uh, if you think you might uh, be pointing, you know, one to another. And uh, one other interesting thing, uh, just about the uh, one uh, one other function that shows you how this uh, how this pointer thing works, and also how an RC works, is this thing called try unwrap. So it's going to try to uh, return the inner value if it has uh, exactly one strong reference. So here it is. If it has uh, one strong reference, it'll work. Uh, if it has one strong and one weak reference, it's not going to work. If it has two strongs, it's not going to work. So you can see weak references do kind of uh, do kind of um, they count uh, as long as they're like combined with a with a strong uh, strong reference. So let's try to um, take this. Uh, let's tr do this. Try unwrap on. Um, let's see. RC. And try unwrap, and then we're going to have uh, Calgary.city history. And then when we do this, you can see one more thing about the uns the associated function, where it says, uh, "Let's see, do, 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 do. try removing the borrow." Oh, that's right. This takes uh, takes it by value. So we'll try it again. And this, uh, all right, one more thing. Okay, we're going to try to unwrap this. And there you go. So uh, it says that's an error. And uh, it, it says, uh, you know, Calgary began as a fort, blah, blah, blah. That is actually the the error message. So it, um, it just returns an error with the, uh, with the thing inside that didn't work. 
and the reason why it uh, why it gives us an error is because there are two owners, and you can see that's uh, that's Rust being safe and not letting us you know totally unwrap the uh, unwrap the value, making a string and uh, by using you know Calgary the Calgary variable because you know Cal Canada Cities is still relying on it and we can't just use this Calgary variable to totally take the value unwrap it turn it into a string. Um, it's going to say, hey, you can't do that because this uh, these two variables are depending on the data. So uh, that's uh, you can see how uh, how reference counters are still, you know, completely safe. They you have two um, two owners or maybe more than two owners, but it's still going to make sure that you can't just you know take the value away from one of them and leave the other ones just you know standing there. And uh, now they're looking at this uh, you know this um, this 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 uh, variable or this uh, data that's already been removed and unaccessible, which is uh, it's called use after free, and that's uh, that's a bad thing, and uh, Rust uh, doesn't let you do that.